Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle giant boxing. Three minutes. Jim, obviously tremendous fights this year. What did you think about Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury? Uh, I thought it was a brilliant fight, and uh, and in, in an odd way. A lot of people think this is an absurd comparison, but I kind of see it as our generation's uh, Ali Frazier one, uh, in the sense that it was a uh, nearly dead even battle, that uh, victory went to the one person who scored a knockdown. The knockdown was the functional difference uh, in the fight. Both guys had a lot to be proud of, uh, the way they fought. Uh, the world paused and kind of held its breath to uh, watch that particular event take place. It'll be very interesting to see what happens to both of them in the future. All right, and as far as obviously while they're losing, unfortunately, and him possibly retiring from boxing, his who, own words. Is, who is that? Deontay Wilder. Well, I, you know, I think that there comes a crucial moment for a lot of fighters when they have to calculate uh, exactly how much more physical and most particularly cranial damage they can accept and deal with uh, and feel secure pursuing the rest of their lives. And it's a decision that only that fighter can make. Nobody else can make that decision for Deontay Wilder. I've read a lot of the things that people have written about you know, the need for him to look at what's happened and recognize that he could become uh, diminished. This is how these guys make their living. This is this is what they've trained all their lives to do. So, you know, I'd be the last person to take it upon myself to look Deontay in the eye and say, I think I know what you now need to do. Right. Uh, but I think he proved a lot. I think he achieved a lot. Uh, I hope that he has kept some of the uh, large fortune that he amassed for fighting in the ring. And if all those conditions are in place, it should make his decision a lot easier than if he were desperate. Who's the best fighter in the world? Who is the best fighter in the world right now? Yeah. It's a, either Inouye uh, or it's uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, and, you know, there are some people who might still argue for Canelo, but at this point, I think it's either Inouye or Terrence Crawford. And uh, uh, if Crawford would go into the ring, and master Canelo, if he could attract that fight and make it happen and get a win over Canelo, I'm not sure what Inouye could do, given the opposition in his weight class, that would equal that achievement. All right, anything you want to leave us with, Jim? What? Anything you want to leave us with? Um, I'm going to be fascinated to see where David Benavides' career goes, because I'm not sure when I have seen a fighter with the explosive power at his weight that Benavides has. What makes him so special? Just the fact that he can knock people out with one punch and, you know, a lot of people talk about one punch knockout power, but you don't really see it all that often. He has one punch knockout power. Is he your favorite to watch right now? I love watching Crawford because, you know, every time Crawford goes into the ring and does what he does, he's adding to an already historic dossier. Uh, and I called his emergence fight the day that he was put in as a uh, sort of last minute throw in on a pay-per-view undercard in Las Vegas against a fighter who was very heavily favored named Bradis Prescott. Uh, I called that coming out party for Crawford so I've always felt an attachment to him. Uh, I love watching him. I love watching Inouye uh, because that combination of craft and power and the way that he is um, growing the audience for boxing in Japan is historic and very meaningful and there's nothing more compelling than a big puncher so david benavides all right thank you jim appreciate your time thank you my privilege